Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now uh, this reading here is for the, the um, 16th of September 2020 and uh, this reading here is destined to the sign of Cancer. So that being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest aside. If ever you do have any questions and you would like to have your own personal reading, you're in search of answers, well, I'm there to help you. I can give you, um, if you contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com, I'll send you the different type of readings that I can um, that I can offer you so you can find those answers that you're searching for. On another note, if you do enjoy the channel, you have not yet subscribed, please do click the little box of subscribe at the um, corner of the screen. So that being said, let's begin this reading. So what we want to know here is um, this is about challenges in relationship um, that are really determined for the sign of of cancer okay so these are challenges that you may be facing but you may not be facing all four of them there's a lot of viewers it's a general so I did put four different cards so it reaches more um, more viewers um, so it can resonate more with you so that being said you might just resonate with two cards or with three or with one and that's okay really take whatever resonates with you I'm gonna give you the challenge and I'm gonna give you the answer on what to do with it so let's begin with the very first card which is all about being flexible okay so voila and it's not about going to the gym or anything here so this is really about in every relationship it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things letting go of rigidity is what's required right now so you don't always have to be right all the time now do you it's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in your reading could also signal that you have met somebody new who may not be your type, but who may turn out to be so special that you can easily release, release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. So be flexible and you're gonna be happy with the choice that you're gonna make. Now, what do you do with this? Yes, you could, you know, just not fix on to your type. But when you when you or someone else becomes too rigid, you lose the access to growth and untapped potential. And you find yourself in an us versus a them scenario. So loosen up and open your mind, open your heart and see if a more flexible approach does feel better. Now, if it's if you're too rigid, it's going to set you up for a fight where there are good, there's going to be only losers and there's not going to be any winners. So could you find a way to bring about a result that is mutually beneficial? Meet in the middle and spirit makes a great mediator for you. So this is all about being flexible. Now we're going to move to the second challenge that might be uh, within your relationship right now. And this is all about coming to the edge. So. Uh, this is all about taking a lot of courage, taking a leap of faith, and overcoming the fear and accepting the risks involved in a relationship. So it's scary to be truly intimate with somebody, to allow him or her to see all of you, especially when the parts of you that you've kept hidden and protected. Now is a time to take that risk and to let yourself be seen, but truly seen, okay? It's important that you speak up, you voice up what you need, you state what you are, and you say what you hope for. This is not a time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You will be glad that you did, and if you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step towards the towards whatever it is that you want, towards the, the relationship that you want, and they um, and to the universe, and they will deliver exactly what it is that you desire. Now, as for protection, what do you do with this with this card? What do you do with coming to the edge? Fear is leading the way into places that you don't need to go. So most of what you fear at the moment is just an illusion. It's stemming from an old belief that isn't even true. So now is a time for courage. You will not be lost at sea. You will not watch everyone else get what you want while you are left alone and unloved. You know, this is just full of drama. You don't want this. Now, uh, false evidence appearing real is hovering, um, you know, 
is hovering all around you. The more you dwell on fear, the more real it will become. So ask yourself, who in me is afraid? Love that part of you and ask if this true and real you now. The answer, the most likely is no. So give yourself a hug. It's okay to be scared. Courage must be summoned. And in spite of your fear, even when you're not feeling confident, spirit of the universe is always going to be there to catch you, okay? So you need to just go jump, use that courage, and go towards that relationship that you want. Over here, to be fair. Now, in a relationship... Can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There is much to be learned and you are going to learn if you remain open and objective. Weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and of actions. The best kind of relationship is the one in which there is a mutual benefit and each party feels heard, valued and respected. So this is all about being fair to all, like the card says. What can you do about this? Injustice and inequity are part of life, but they do not have to define your experiences. This is a time when you may observe an injustice rightened and fairly redressed. Perhaps you come to the rescue of someone else or you called to answer for a personal slight. You will be amazed by the sense of power that surges through you when you stand up for yourself and when you stand up for others. This card also indicates a good time to advocate for others who are less fortunate. Choose your card and commit to it because you can make it a difference. One thing is for certain, in fairness is your intention. The situation is going to be resolved for the highest of goods and all concerned. Okay. You need kindness, you need empathy, and you need courage within your relationships. I'm going to say it again. You need kindness, empathy, and you need courage. So very important. Moving on to the very last card, regeneration. So this is almost like a rebirth. Okay. It's, it's healing. This is all about um, the world is based on connections, it's based on relationships, and no matter what loss has occurred into the past or even now, death and endings are only illusions. There is life after death, love after loss, and in this moment, you are radiating the regenerative life force energy that just makes you irresistible to love in all forms. So now is a time when you will see the evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. Endings come in many, many different forms, okay? And now is the time to stop holding on to what must die. This is what you have to do. This is your solution. So that something better can take its place. Nature cycles include disease, decay, death, and regeneration. So let whatever isn't working in your life just die. Don't be afraid to face the facts. There is no need to struggle or to grieve. Whatever your query, just let it go. You're about to be reborn. So this, my dear friends, was your reading. I hope that you were able to find something, um, some, some wise words that made some sense to you that you're going to be able to take, you're going to be able to appropriate for you and into your relationships. If you do have any questions, you would like to have a, um, a reading, please do contact me at romancefultero at gmail.com. Please don't forget to click the little red box at the bottom of the screen to subscribe. And I do wish you a fantastic day. Please stand by tomorrow for the following reading, which is all about uh, giving second chances. So have a great day and I'll see you soon.